Welcome to Imperial Cat System. In this video, I will explain one command user stamp in Catia V5 sheet metal modeling. What does this user stamp command do? See if we select here, we have an option called punch. So, for this option punch, we have to create a feature on this sheet here we got a sheet on this we have to create a feature by going into part modeling and create a feature in that so get into part modeling if we directly go into part design see you will get one warning message here on this sheet if you create a feature like I create some profile exit then go for patch for user stamp you need this part feature reverse direction with some depth 30 mm then we when we get back to sheet metal modeling then when you select this user stamp see here a warning message you can see a sheet metal feature can't be inserted here do you want to define working object if you go for yes then that pad will not be visible see here pad not visible if you cancel this option then it will be visible see here so if you want a stamp of this shape so we need to use this user stamp then why does it not showing when we select this when if you go for a yes see not visible in this case see that means that the pad feature can't be inserted under a sheet see under pot body there's a sheet already there so under this it is not accepting this feature pad feature so we have to take a separate body for this go for insert body and the pad should be in this body it is supposed to be in this body so before creating any any feature before going into part modeling go for insert take one body then go to part modeling and create a, a feature now i directly cut paste into this body pad right click cut body to paste If you want fillet at the base, you have to do that in part modeling itself. See, get into part modeling. I want base with some radius, some 3 mm. See, then get back to sheet metal modeling. as this as this feature created in separate body so you can see as it is placing on this sheet not merging into this sheet it's showing separately then get back to sheet metal design go for user stamp go for yes see it is visible now now after selecting this user stamp do select on the surface see if you go for a preview first select on the sheet sheet surface and in this punch option select this body the entire body now if this punch is showing somewhere outside the part in this case if you go for a preview you will get error so what we need to do in this means just select a position on contest option then go for preview now you will get a stamping see 
I go for OK. See, we got a stamp. Whatever the shape we have created in pot molding, we got stamp over here. See, like as we have gained some radius in the pot molding itself, it has taken, and the thickness maintained the same thickness as we give. Whatever the thickness we give in the sheet metal parameter, that maintain the same thickness for the stamping also. So like this, we have to use this user stamp option. Apart from this, in user stamp, we have also an option faces for opening. See, I select this faces for opening. I select this base, then go for OK. Go for faces for opening. See, we have selected this. We don't want this face. Then go for OK. Now we can see the base has been opened. See, like this, we can use user stamp. For this, we have to go for insert body and generate a pad. Not only pad in part design, you can use any option like pad, as a shaft, a rib. You can create in a. You you can use this option and you can create a feature under part body then go for a sheet metal operation select user stamp first select on the sheet then select this punch the feature which you have created here radius radius 2 is nothing but this one this radius the base radius so like this you we get a stamp according to the shape of the feature we have taken thank you for watching this video for more videos please subscribe imperial